Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck and I'm going to do my March 2023 TBR. So I have a very super high ambitious list here as well as a lot of backups <laughs> because if you guys had seen my videos last week of my piles of possibilities for both the two readathons that I am going to participate in in March, you'll see that I have a lot of a lot of things I want to read, <laughs> but a little bit, um, not I can't read it all. So I have narrowed down... Um, the mammoths to so the two that I said were my primary ones and then I have 10 mysteries six of those are more priority and then four of them are kind of backups <laughs> in case I mood reading wise I have dozens of other books of both mammoths as well as mysteries that I could pull on a whim I'm very much in a mood reading I'm doing mood reading a lot right now so we'll see what happens so I'm going to just show you the ones that are the highest potential right now to, that you'll see um, me read in my weekly reading updates. So March of the Mammoths is um, put on by Jason at All Blues Chapter and Verse and Alex at Big Al Books. I will have announcement videos below. They um, have done this for several years now. I don't actually remember. I've done it. I've done like pretty well of like <laughs> every other year getting one done. Um, last year it did not work out for me. I was going to read this same book last year, but I had just, my job had just changed the couple months before that and I was still in transition and I just could not focus on a big book um, that month. But this time I'm ready <laughs> and I'm going to read Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. So I did buy a new copy of this. I've had this book for 20 years on my shelf and I've never gotten to it. And again, I did try it last year. Just, I just, it wasn't, it wasn't the year for it. So I'm going to try it again this year. I did buy the Penguin Deluxe copy that's on its way to me, probably on the first I'm supposed to get it. Anyway, um, but it has the translator to the audiobook that I got, um, on sale on Audible. So I am planning to do this kind of as a, a text audio combo, um, to see if that'll help me get through this. I have it tabbed up by day of how many I'm supposed to read. I don't remember how many pages, if it's 20 or 30 pages a day. I don't remember how it comes out. This was uh, 1,232 pages. I think the edition that I bought now is just under 400 or 1,400. <laughs> anyway, but uh, as I said, that one kind of goes with the audiobook that I got. So, and again, I don't really, I've never really liked this copy of this book. I just, I've had it for 20 years. I can probably get rid of it. And I have a, a, that pretty illustrated one that's coming from... <laughs> Anyway, so um, this is my primary um, or priority um, mammoth. This is the one I'm going to said my audio booking will probably be mostly from this book. Um, I'm hoping to get this done within the month. That is my goal. As I said, I tabbed it up for the 31 days. So I'm hoping that that is what I'm going to do. Um, if it comes down to I'm having trouble, I will be playing a lot of Animal Crossing to listen to this. Or something, or, you know, as I said, I'll, I'll have it on in my car for my drives to and from work. I just need to do a little bit more than that a day to get it done. But this is my primary book of, actually, you know, or priority book of everything that I'm reading this month. Due to the fact that this is my second attempt at, uh, for it, for March of the Mammoths. And I want to read this book. Because everybody has been talking about it recently. A lot of people read it in the last couple months, which is really weird. And I'm like, no, it's not March yet. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to read it. That is my goal. So that is like the number one thing I'm going to read in March is that at least or at least attempt it. So as I said, if it turns out I have to DNF anything, I will DNF, I DNF very well. So the point is, is that, but I really want to give this a really good shot because I feel like it's a book that, um, that I will enjoy once I get through it. It's just, I need to start it. Anyway, um, the other mammoth that I want to read is a fantasy. So I want to try to mix that up. Um, so I'm hoping later in the month I will pick up Dragon Mage by M.L. Spencer. Um, this is uh, 818 pages. So this is, I think it's considered, it's it's a standalone right now. There might be more books coming later, but right now it's pretty much can stand alone. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. I bought this a couple years ago for my birthday and I just haven't read it and it's, it's beautiful and I just want to read it. So um, all I know is this is about Aram and he... You know, go. It's kind of a coming of age story, and again, there's dragons, there must be mages. Um, I'm excited. So this is, uh, as I said, this is the other mammoth I would like to prioritize after uh, Les Mis, but I do want to at least start this one in March. I'm. It might be one that maybe I'll get 
to it near the end of the month and then I continue into April. But this is a book I want to get done because I've had it on my shelf for so long when I meant to read it right away when I got it. Um, so that is my, those are my mammoths that are my priorities. I have, as I said, if you saw my video, there, there's many others that I could pick up if I have time or want to attempt to start those as well. They're all books I want to read this year, but we'll see what I can get done. And then I have, um, as I said, I'm doing March Mystery Madness, which um, one of the co-founders was um, Elizabeth at Lizzie Faye Loves Books. And um, I, of course, uh, have been watching Janelle at Two Founder Books with all her videos. So, um, and again, I'm looking forward to all the ones she's going to have for this uh, month as well. So um, I'll have their announcement videos linked down below. This also is a, a month long one. So um, this is about reading mysteries. There is a whole spring cleaning um, um, prompt thing. But the thing is, is that I have so many books and I am such a mood reader right now that at the end, I could go back and see if I hit all the, the things because it was like messy, lather, rinse, repeat. And I could use all those things, but I don't need help directing my reading. <laughs> I'm just going to be mood reading because there, there are so many books I want to read. I just need I just need time. And I'm just <laughs> giving myself a lot of time with reading mysteries. And again, I'm trying to get back to reading more mysteries because um, I have so many. Um, so I have two rereads that I would like to do. One of them is Mary Stewart. Um, Thunder on the Right. So this is um, kind of kind of more romantic suspense, but she's it's uh, I think uh, I can't remember her name. Jenny is trying to figure out what happened to her cousin in the Pyrenees, and that's about all I want to know. I don't remember. I read this book when I was a teenager, so it's been a really really long time. But I really like to get back to this. So uh, back to um, the Mary Stewarts. So um, that is definitely one I want to pick up. Um, another, the other married read I might get to is Mistress of the Art of Death by Adriana Franklin. This is the first book in this series. And um, this one I read when it first came out. Really, really enjoyed it. It's a uh, historical mystery in 1171 in England. And I think the woman has been trained um, to look at death. And she is sent to um, help with some deaths that happen in this, of uh, some children in uh, town. And I don't remember anything beyond that. That's about all I remember. Oh, I remember certain things about this, but not all the details and stuff. So this is a series that I read the first book and then didn't know that it continued until much later. I have collected a couple of the other books. I would like to at least reread the first book in order to continue that series. So I'm hoping to get to those rereads. But they're rereads, so they're not maybe not my higher priorities of those, but those are ones I would like to get to. Um, I like to read The Beekeeper's Apprentice, so I have a couple. So most of these are beyond this are mostly start a series. <laughs> like I need to start more series, but they're books on my shelf. So The Beekeeper's Apprentice by um, Laurie K. No, Laurie R. King is the first book in the Mary Russell and Sherlock Holmes series. So again, this is a pretty long uh, running series. Um, I think I did a try chapter on this last year. And so I do, I did like the first chapter, so I would, I'll probably have to reread it. But um, I know this has to do with after Sherlock Holmes is kind of retired to the country. I don't remember where they're at. Uh, 1915. And uh, he meets um, Mary and they get involved in some kind of mystery. And that's about all I know. Um, one of my uh, cousin's girlfriends was telling me that I had to read this book. Because I told her I had it because she's like, oh, I love that series. When we were talking about books. So I, I really should read this one. So this is pretty high on my list to start that series. I also would like to start the Veronica, Veronica Speedwell series with A Curious Beginning by Deanna Rayborn. So I've heard really good things about this one. This is um, 1887 London. Um, and I know she um, is... Uh, I don't know. She's looking at butterflies. She has some kind. She's scientific in some way, and then she gets um, someone tries to get after her, and then someone else helps her. And I don't know. They're mysteries. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I hear really good things about this one. I'd really like to start this series as well. So that's another one I'd like to read. I'd like to read more uh, um, translated uh, mysteries. This is the next one I'd like to try. Is the Hanjin Murders by uh, Shishi. No, Shirishi Yokomizo. And this is translated. Um, oh, I can't remember. Uh, by Louise Heal Kawaii. 
So, um, as I said, I read the, um, a different series and a different, um, mystery just recently, but this is the one that starts, I think this one is, uh, in the winter of 1937 in this village, there's like a wedding going on. And then sometime in the night there's screams and then, uh, there's blood in the snow with the sword. I don't know. Um, and it, I think it's the first one that follows this certain detective. I'm not sure. I think I'm pretty sure this is the first book. I think it was first published. It looks like 1973. So anyway, that just sounds good. I've been wanting to, uh, read up. I'm pretty sure. So it's historical, uh, but it just sounds good. So, um, anyway, that's what I like to try to get to. And I'd really like to finish a series. So The Hidden Cove uh, by Meg Tilly is the third book in the Solus Island series. I read the first two as they came out. And then this one came out and I just, I lost track of it and I forgot that I had it. <laughs> so I want to finish this series out. Um, this is talking about a small island um, up in northern um, or northwestern uh, Washington. And uh, the first ones followed... Um, some, uh, you know, there was a, someone came to the island and then, um, she was kind of stalked there. And then, so this one, I'm not sure what happens in this one. I know this deals with different characters. I'm not sure if we'll see the other characters because it's been so long since I read the other books. I don't want to reread those to finish this series out, but I still have them. So I could, but I want to at least finish this one. This has to do with an art, um, gallery owner who I think somebody dies, you know, it's like a mystery. So there's something, someone's after somebody. Um, and I don't know if it has art related twist or not, but anyway, I'd like to really finish that. And then, um, <laughs> then again, I have four more. These are all the like, so those are like the, the high, the priority of the mysteries, but these ones are all also calling me too. I'd like to start, um, the Lady Hardcastle series by T.E. Kinsley. This is A Quiet Life in the Country. So this is also, um, 1908 timeline or, you know, so these, they come to the, um, to the country after they've had some ex very exciting lives. And of course there's some kind of murder. So, um, I think it's, um, Lady Hardcastle and her, um, her maid who, uh, have things going, um, go wrong kind of thing. So I kind of would like to read that. Um, I do kind of want to pick up one of my Wendy Webbs. Um, this is the tale of the, of Hal, Halcyon Crane. Anyway, this is one of her older books. Um, these are mostly like mysteries, kind of romantic suspense, but a lot of them have like kind of a supernatural element, but I like them. So this one has to do with a woman who finds out that, um, that her mother, who she thought was dead, might have not, no, had not, might not have died when she thought she did. And that's about all I want to know about this one. But again, it's kind of, they usually take place up by uh, Lake Superior in some way. I'm not sure if this one does, but, um, anyway, I'm not sure if this one, it looks like it might have... Uh, two timelines or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that one, but it's one I would like to pick up. I'd also like to pick up The Woman in the Library by Solari Gentile. So this is one that's had a lot of mixed reviews, but I did want to try this author. And this book sounds um, kind of it's kind of a little meta, I think, because I think there's a somebody who's writing a novel. So part of the novel's in here, but they're at the Boston Library and somebody gets killed and the people that are sitting in the same area, one of them must have killed um, whoever died. So anyway, I've heard good and bad things about this one, but I'd really like to get to it since it's on my shelf. And then the last one um, that is a possibility is uh, Magpie Murders by um, Anthony Horowitz, which is the first book in this series. I don't actually know what the name of this series, but um, I know there's a couple in this, but this is one of the, again, another one of those ones with, I think there's a book within a book. Um, I think an editor, is looking into, I don't remember if it was the death or the disappearance of the writer and she sees it has a manuscript, a partial manuscript and that's somehow involved but then other things are happening. I don't know, but I've heard a lot of people talk about this recently again. Um, it's been on my shelf for a while. I got it at the library book sale, so it's not a great copy, but I wanted to try this series and try this author. So let's see here, how was I gonna do this? So my priority reads, um, again, are for March and the Mammoths is Les Miserables. That's definitely number one. That's going to be done. I'd also like to finish Hidden Cove, so the Solace Island series. So I'm going to make this a priority. I'm hoping this <laughs> I'll get to this because I'd like to be able to finish this series. Again, I'm trying to finish series off that I own. 
Um, and then I, the two books I'd like to put on as kind of, um, oops, I saw it. I would like to start the uh, Veronica Speedwell series. So I think this is going to be my next one that is hopefully I'll get to. And then I'd like to do the Han Jin murders. So these are the four that are more like the core. Like, you know how I do usually three to four books that are my core TBR. These are the core. And then everything else is just hopeful possibilities. I want to read them all. Am I going to be able to? I don't know. But these ones up for sure. I'll probably start one of these on the, I'll probably, st I'll start this one on the first, but I might start one of these also on the first. So I don't know which one I'm going to pick. Which one should I pick first? Let me know. What are you reading for March? Are you taking part in any of these great readathons? I know there are so many others. I know there is, you know, um, Middle Grade March and the Irish Readathon. And oh, there was uh, somebody who's doing, oh, there's so many other ones. I can't even think if they were this month or not. There's just so many people are doing stuff, their own, per, their other readathons. I just, March is always a mammoth and mystery. And I just want to keep to that. And again, I want to read more mysteries this year. This is the year of mysteries, I'm hoping. I'm hoping to get through a lot of them. So I hope that I can get through some of them during March. So let me know what you're reading or if any of these you think I should definitely read. Or um, if you want to read anything with me, let me know. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.